Arlan. Um, <clears throat> Arlan is from Damon. It is day one of my Arabic class, nine to five Arabic class. <laughs> this is all I know. Ahlan, Wasalan, Ana Meriki. That's all. <laughs> Stick with me, see how much I learn in this week. It's a nine to five Monday to Friday class. El Kuwait. El Kuwait. Beirut. Beirut. Wow, oui. Wow, oui. Oui. S'il n'y a aucune voyelle, oh, oh. Ahlan! <laughs> Alright, and that's the Notre Dame getting ready for the Olympics. If I do this, can you see me? <laughs> At the end of each day, I thought that I would relay some things that you might find interesting. For example, did you know that the name Abdallah means slave to God? How do you say God in Arabic? Allah. Abdallah. Yeah, yeah. You know how Arabic speakers are always like, yalla, let's go, let's go, yalla. Ya Allah, let's go to God. I don't know if that's true, but. <laughs> okay, you know how if you write my name out, lowercase, Damon, and then you take those letters and you jumble them up and you write nomad. In Arabic, the letters would look different because depending on where the letter comes in the word, it's going to have a different form. Ça dépend de la lettre qui est juste avant si elle donne sa main ou non. So a D at the beginning is gonna look different from a D in the middle. It's gonna look different from a D at the end. So now I'm wondering if that game even exists where like a word's letters will be all jumbled up and you have to like sort the word out. How would you do that in Arabic? You can't do that in Arabic. How would you do that in Arabic? Because the letter would give it away where it's gonna go in the sentence. J'adore ces petites uh, différences culturelles. So when I showed up, like I'm, I'm writing my notes in this. But your average French person <laughs> it's so cute. They're all using graph paper. <laughs> it's a, one of these funny cultural differences because in the States we only use graph paper for graphs, but here in France they use it for they use it to write. So I show up to class and everyone's using graph paper. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I remember when I was studying abroad here too, they're like, make sure to bring graph paper to class. And I was confused because I'm like, I'm not taking math. This leads me to my next point. People say it's harder to make friends as you get older. I mean, that's one of those sentences that people always say it like it's a fact when I don't necessarily think it's true. Yes, it's a lot easier in uni or college to meet people since you're all in the same program, you share the same vision, you share the same values, you share the same manager, la, 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 la. I'm like getting tired. Yalla, 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 like hurry up, let's get this video done. <laughs> like your education doesn't have to stop when you graduate. And I think for a lot of people it does. Oop, did I say that? I've always been so intrigued by this house. Like, who lives here? <laughs> Look at this. This street used to be all for cars and then the mayor blocked it off now half of it's for bikes. Hi. Name. <laughs> two, that's all, that's, that's all you need to know. Today is day two and I forgot my notes. Like, in fact, let me grab those. Yeah, you wanna know where my notes were today? At home. So that was great. I had to redo everything, which is fine. C'est la pratique. Abu Dhabi. So first of all, I love how they say Dubai and Abu Dhabi. They, they do it different. They don't say Abu Dhabi. They say Abu Dhabi or something. I love it. Oh, but anyways, apparently Abu Dhabi is something about gazelles. I don't, I actually, I don't care enough to look it up. I'm sorry. <laughs>
just like... One thing that's tricky about Arabic is that there are different dialects and a lot of them do not understand each other. So that's annoying to be honest because I don't know enough about the Arabic speaking world to know which dialect I want to learn. You know what I'm saying? There is a standard Arabic but you end up sounding like a news reporter. So no one actually uses the standard Arabic. It's more just like a formalized Arabic. It's like Siri. They use Indian numbers. Oh, not only is the script cursive, but the numbers themselves are different. And then she said today that what we use, okay, you know how you have Roman numerals and we learn how to write the Roman numerals. Then there is the Arabic numerals, which is what we know, which is interesting because it's Arabic. And then in Arabic, they're not using the Arabic numerals, they're using Indian numbers. So I had to learn those. Had a realization today that I couldn't name one, like not one, you guys, I couldn't name one Arabic speaking singer. I'm outing myself, yeah, I, I couldn't name one, like literally not one. <laughs> It didn't surprise me that I was probably one of the only people in the room who didn't know one Arabic speaking artist because these people are all French. That is the immigration pattern. Like some people from Maghreb, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria moved to France. So that's a common immigration pattern. Whereas in the States, we don't really have too many Arabic speakers. Let me try to explain why Arabic is hard. You see this word and you're like, okay, step one, what is that even saying? So it's like, Ana Ismi. Step two, what does Ana Ismi mean again? So it's like, it just takes a while. Like I can't imagine when I see a paragraph of words. <sighs> ah! Les deux verbes qu'on vient de prendre, c'était af, afan. Afal. Af, afal et. Aaref. Aaref. No biking today, it was raining. She was real, she had such an attitude today. Paris. Like, it was raining. <laughs> Y'all. Like, are we seeing this? Yes, baby. I'll just, let me just read it for you. Amel. Amel. No, it's like, that's a sound. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my voice cracking, that's an actual sound in your ring. Ah! Ah, Amal! Wa escon fi beris adrus alarabia. Yeah, yeah, there's a good vibe happening in class. <laughs> Did I mention it's a class full of women? <laughs> so, this was a cool moment. I had a really cool moment in class that I didn't actually say to anybody because I was like, I just don't feel like explaining. <laughs> I was invited to this grand opening of a hotel in Dubai, which was probably one of the best moments, best weekends I've had in my life. And it's cool that like this year started off on such a good note. <laughs> um, I met so many people from all around the world and that's really what I like about Dubai, that it, it truly feels like a global, like I wrote the book, you're a global citizen. It truly feels like a global citizen place. Like literally 90% of the people are there on visas. So at this grand opening, there was a singer who was invited. Turns out, Rita, the teacher, puts on a song today. That was the woman who was singing at the opening. Like what if, that's cool, I'm sorry, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, I guess this was interesting. I had to pull out my, uh, my former Arabic for Dummies book. Uh, by the way, don't buy this. If you're thinking about learning Arabic, don't buy this. Maybe buy it for the descriptions because it does explain like the grammar well, but like in terms of actually reading the, um, like, you know what I'm talking about, la 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 la, you, it's too small. Like you can't even see, you can't see what's written. So today I learned that there's no verb to be in Arabic. Now, if people have never studied the language, basically what that means is you don't say I am, you are, you wouldn't say I am a teacher, you just say I teacher. So like when you are being, I guess you don't have to overstate that because it's like, already implied. It is interesting, why do we have that word? Like, why do we need the word am? Why can't we just say I happy? What is am even doing? This is partly why I learn languages because it puts your own language into perspective. Like, oh right, that isn't the only way to frame reality. Oh, 
منى سليمان من أي بلد؟ إذا هي عراقية وفاضية منصور من أي بلد؟ من مصر من ال من أين من العاصمة من العاصمة؟ أيوه من العاصمة بس شو عم بدي أقول شيء؟ أنا لا أعرف أنا لا أعرف شو بدي أنا لا أعرف أنا لا أعرف Today, I had the feeling that I could really learn this language. Um, it's only day four and it's all really starting to click. Like It's exciting because I started this class being like, I'm not learning this to get fluent. Um, I have no intention of learning this language fluently. This is just an example of me trying to do different things. I've been getting bored of life. So here, <laughs> let's go see. I'm just doing this for fun, just to do something different. To put myself in like a different room. You know? And now we're on day four and I'm still intrigued, which is a good sign. I'm not completely over it. I had a freak out moment in class today because it, I, it was flashbacks to like high school. In the middle of class, my teacher Rita said, um, Okay. Oh my god, like what did I do? Like, did they catch me filming in class? Like, am I not supposed to be posting Instagram stories like while I'm here? And then during the pause, the break, um, actually, it was l'équipe de com, genre <laughs> des réseaux sociaux, who saw my name and wanted to ask me if I could post some things about the school to get people in the know about taking Arabic at the Institut de Monde Arabe. It's an interesting question, and I told her, like, normalement, c'est un truc rémunéré ou remboursé même. If somebody wanted to promote their product and they bought a billboard, they would spend probably tens of thousands of euros to do that, right? But when you go to an influencer and you're like, hey, can you talk about my product? You Kind of just like ask nicely. Now they are getting lucky. They're getting real lucky because I was already doing a video. Like I'm, this is the video. <laughs> I'm already making the video, right? So they're they're lucky. But typically, if someone's like, "Hey, can you post about my thing?" I would be like, "I mean, I can, but like, how much are we talking? <laughs> like, what's what's those numbers looking like?" Day four, super happy. Uh, tomorrow's the last day, and I've had a great time with Rita. She's been such a great teacher. I've had a great time at the end. Now it's like starting to sound like sponsored video. <laughs> See, this is the problem. <laughs> Look, I paid 415 euros for that class, okay? This is all because I wanted to do it. I'm done. See you tomorrow. We had our test today. Baby. I got like two wrong out of 20. Baby, I got like a 90%. <laughs> It's really cool to like learn a new language, learn a new script and be able to write it. Like to be able to write sentences. Ismi Rana, ana kuwaitiya, askun fi London. Yeah, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, e comment tu écris? Ana ha kaifa aktub Los Angeles. Luz. Luz. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Oui, Luz. Mhm, tamam. Ah. Ana Angeles, oui. I travel. Je vais vous prendre trois baguettes multi céréales s'il vous plaît. Okay, as if, yeah, I think I just mentioned this. As if it's not enough to like do a nine to five intensive Arabic immersion. I, look, there's not enough weekends in a year. So today is also the day of my plus one party. I was just like, I have a nice apartment. Let me, let me be the place where people can come and we can all meet each other. So everyone, all, I mean, I invited my friends. And I told all of them, you guys need to bring a plus one. Like, you have to come with a plus one. So, I invited 16 people, which is already, c'est déjà trop pour mon appartement. Donc, on va, on va faire le double. <laughs> so, 32 people. And so, I'm over here freaking out because I don't have enough cups. I have like one hour before these people start showing up. I actually did have such a good time in class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
There was just a good vibe in class. I don't know, I just missed it and it felt good to do something different. That's all. We had our test today to, I guess, see like if we, if we do want to pass on to the next level, um, then you need to have this certificate that you did this portion. It was nice to be a student again, a Taliba. Taliba. Ana Taliba. A la Ravia. I'm happy and I got shit to do. I gotta get this party going. <laughs> Okay, bye! Liami, Liani, because Anna in America. Everything I say, I'm like... Okay, so people say that Arabic is a really hard language to learn. So far, it's like... Look, to me, nothing is hard. Like, it's all just a matter of time. Yeah, there are a lot of rules, but you just need more time with it. That's all. You'll learn the rules eventually. Like, there are millions of Arabic speakers. They've all done it. So it's nice to be in a class where everyone actually wants to learn a language. When I was growing up in Indiana, going to high school, nobody wanted to be in language class. And that sucked because I loved it, you know? This is the real Paris. Like what? Someone's like leftover chicken. <laughs> yeah, I told you this year I'm trying out traditional school again. It's been 10 years since I like dropped out. I'm not even, why do I even say it like that? Like I, I'm, I've always been doing language schools. This isn't anything new. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. You see, I'm just not in the mood today. Like, I'm not. <laughs> my attitude is not giving bright light. It's giving night light. Out like a light. The butt transition. <laughs> Yalla.